It's a beautiful day. Come on, Maisie. You want to come out? And Maisie and I are oh, outside. There's my baby girl. Where is she? There's my girl. Come on. There's my baby. She likes to play on. We're going to take a little rest. So today, well, this week has been a week at Lowe's. They've had all of their stuff on half price, clearance, all kinds of good stuff. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how much I bought, which is kind of a lot, but you know, we need some plants. So I bought some stuff and we're going, I'm going to show you what I bought. We're going to plant it. And then I'm going to show you how it turns out in the end. And wow, it's beautiful today. When I woke up, it was 47. So now it's probably mid 50s, almost 60, I'm sure. So it's really nice. So you see my window box back there. Isn't that pretty? Hey, there it is. There's Luna barking in the back. Hello to my lovelies who listen. Sam, Maddie, and Adam, I love you. It's me and Maddie. Hey, Maddie. Maisie. Look, I called Maddie Maisie. I call Maisie Maddie. Look at her. Oh, baby girl, baby girl. Oh, she's such a good girl. Oh, she's talking. She hears Luna. Maybe she'll go across the street to play today. That's a good girl. Okay, let me show you what we've got. Go play, go play. There's Luke. Come on, Ted. There, go play. Oh. There we go. Come on. Everybody play. Hey, oh. Ted. Hi, Ted. Go play. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, go play. Yes. You guys go play. Luna. Oh, 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 oh. I know, baby girl. Hi, Luna. Go play. You guys aren't going to play until I leave. Yes. Okay. Okay. So we're going to start here, side of the house. I've got two blooms struck. And I hope that I can fit them here because the ground is full of roots from many things around here. There's maples and arborvitae. So I'm hoping I can squeeze them in here. They're in the front of the house. I got two of those and they were half price. So we've got that. And this gets just a little morning sun and um, the rest of the time it's in pretty good shade. So that should be fine for those. Things here are blooming. And then I've got these two guys, of course, a day lily. And there are about four. There's a lot in there. looks like there's one, at least four in there. So I can divide that into four and this which I've never had before gold, golden day George Davidson Co crocomisa I don't know I thought it was pretty it's a perennial it needs Sun so I got that too oh, 36 inches high oh it's only cold hardy to negative 10 so hopefully it'll be fine it's not very cold hardy, but because we can get the negative 20 here. The flocks, not flocks, these are um, asters. They were a dollar. So I've got five of those that I'm going to put along the front borders. Walk around to the side here. Um, look, it's finally this hydrangea, my climbing hydrangea, is starting to climb. So hopefully next year it'll be just a little bigger. A lot of trouble with bindweed. Look at this. It's just all over the place. Um, so my bobos doing pretty good. Of course, I got more boxwoods because I love them so much. And I have three boxwoods. One, there's two, three. So I had to figure out because in the winter time, there's going to be nothing here. It'll all just be low um so i'll put those there they'll grow a couple feet and we'll move on down here so my two little um propagations are doing pretty good i mean they're really small but they're coming along so i'm happy with that i got these two guys here and they're only supposed to get 
they have, look at those, there's some pretty little blooms on them. The fragrant flowers, it's called Little Ditty, which is a wither rod, a viburnum. So it says one to two feet tall and wide. So really, it's already at its full growth here. And um, it is cold hardy here, which is good because it can get down to 20 below sometimes in a good snap. Let's see, hardy three to eight and we're six B. Um, spring after flowering prune. I'm looking for, oh, sun or part shade. So this will be fine because in the summer we do get a lot of sun from the west. So that'll work. All right. <laughs> I do have some grass coming up, but these are the sedums that I put in. Got some grass coming up, but these are the sedums that I put in. So they're doing pretty good. Pretty pleased. All right. My arborvitae are doing pretty good and I found another one. I'm so happy. This is a limelight and um, it was half off. It's got a little bug, a um, little chewing. That's okay. So I'm going to put this here and I might run to another Lowe's and see if they have more. But I do have a limelight here. Got the limelight there and I'm going to get three at least one two three more so get some more limelight and this is the watermelon but I don't have I've got blooms but I haven't seen any so I'm not too hopeful we'll get anything before it freezes but you never know I guess right I don't know I certainly don't see anything that's a viburnum too all right and I'm going to check out my other propagated ones over here. My other hydrangeas. Okay, that one's doing okay. Not bad. This one's doing really well. Here's my... my I gotta move this again. We're getting more of the fence up, so... This one's doing well. It's got some new leaves coming on. Uh, this one's okay. I'm trying to move things around here. Okay. Yeah, this is okay. There are two of them here. Yeah, so it's okay. And there's two there. And it's putting on new leaves too, so that's good. Got this little guy here. I think I stepped on it accidentally, but it's okay. <laughs> it's going to be a while before, I mean, next year they'll be bigger, but it's going to be a while before they're anything major. And we got that little guy, so, oh. you know, we're still working on this area, but my boxwoods are doing well. Love my boxwoods there. Yeah. All right. And I think that's it. Oh, wait, I got one more. Let's check out my propagations here before we move to the last one. So these... They actually look really good, but they have not, I, no, there's no, well, that one's got a little resistance. So I might have to, these will definitely have to be an overwinter project. Some of them have taken root and some haven't because some have a little resistance. So we'll just keep working on those. Yeah, this day lily, I love my day lilies. Um, all right. And <laughs> the cosmos, they drop seeds. Oops, I just put one up, but they drop seeds. And these are the um, Black Eyed Susans. This is the cosmos. These are um, just wild. I forget what they're called, violets. Yeah. So, yeah, things start, oh, look at those cosmos. Those are beautiful. Look at that. Okay. So, um, Look at this black eye Susan Vine. Look at that. I wish it, I don't think it got enough sun to bloom a lot, but it does have a few blooms on it. And my very last thing 
is here. Eastern Snowball Viburnum, 12 by 12. This will be perfect here. A little sun, a little shade, and big, beautiful snowballs. And we're back to the front where the two... Okay, so time to get busy. Okay, I have one bed done. And you know, when you do this stuff, it uh, morphs into other things. So yeah, I was gonna start with just planting my two little bloom-tastic hydrangeas. And then I thought, well, wait, let's make this even better. I got some spurge, the at Lowe's. You can see it. Blair. That's the spurge. That, that, that. Anyway, the spurge will, um, you know, do its thing and move around. And of course, then I thought, hey, how about some more of this? So I took it out of there and I divided it. I mean, look, you can see where I took it. One little tiny spot. That thing will fill in in about a month. And I put them here and here and here here it's so exciting because it really fills in this bed i think there's some more it fills in this bed now it looks like these will be bigger than the hydrangeas but that's not true because the hydrangeas will be bigger this is just their first you know i just put them in the ground so i am going to take the blooms off even though it seems like mm, sad but i'm going to take the blooms off so we can just work on getting those roots in before it gets too cold. And then I'll notice that my day lilies are not blooming up here. Oh, duh. They're not blooming because they're not getting enough sun. So I'm going to move those. I got these day lilies here did not bloom. And all of these day lilies in the front, I don't know what I was thinking. Like, these three around the tree, they bloomed a little more. They got a little more sun. This one bloomed, I think, one, but I don't even know what color they are anymore. And what am I thinking? Because we have a huge tree there and we have this huge tree. So, I, yeah, duh. Okay, so I'm going to have to move those day lilies, which is going to leave some open spots. Um, yeah, I'll have to deal with that. And it's time I need to trim my boxwoods. So, I'm really excited. It looks so much better over there. And I know you're wondering, what are these? Well, the water comes down off the spouts and it rains so hard, it just squishes down and then it gets stuck here and then rolls back towards the house and kind of runs into the basement. So my sister and I cut this little thing. It looks like it's crazy, but it actually works. So. The water drains down there, it drains around the bed, and it goes down the hill. You can see the water, it's a little thinner here. You see where it crosses the sidewalk? I made a little ditch there and down into the alley. So, yeah. <sighs> Things are looking good, sadly. You know, we're moving into fall, which I know everyone loves fall, but I don't like fall because fall means winter and winter means no gardening. So that's where we are today. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Definitely needs some mulch, but you know, one thing at a time. And let me show you. I'll put a work here next. Um, there's some more spurge that I got. So I'm gonna fill in this area with it. Um, here I have I don't know if I've showed you these, but this a uh, coral bells. And there it is. That's the Japanese viburnum. So I need to water that. It'll go well here. It'll be beautiful in the spring. I'm so excited. I love those great big snowballs that it that it um grows. I don't know. Anywho. Look, it just looks so pretty. Oh, I'm so happy. So, so happy. Okay. That might be it for today. I think I'm going to do some more stuff tomorrow. I'm going to go get Maisie. Maybe we'll go for a walk. I don't know. So, have a great day.